I'm so excited and thrilled to be talking to you all about my favorite, favorite, favorite piece of hair thus far. And I just had to come do it. So this is the CFH Ray unit by Zuri Synthetic Comfy Cap Wig Company. And I am loving every little bit of detail about this unit. So let's get straight into the specifics. Where can you find this? You can go to your local beauty supply store, your wig department, or even blackhairspray.com, although I have never used that website. This is a very economically enticing unit, trust me. It's great for my college ladies who want to switch up their look at the drop of a dime because this is only between $21.99 and $25.99 and for that, you cannot get any better. This unit is in the color number four. I love the color. And as you can see, it does have that luster and that brilliance to it. Some may think it's overbearing or overwhelming, but I think it works. There are ways to tame shine or brilliance, and you can definitely YouTube that. For me, it works perfectly fine. But a thing, a thing that contributes to how shiny your unit looks is the upkeep and the maintenance. So this unit has Remy fibers and I can automatically tell the difference between this hair and my other model model unit called Carmen. The Remy fibers are really great at holding their curl pattern. It doesn't extend, it just volumizes. The curls tend to loosen but they still maintain a body and a density that looks healthy. Of course, this unit is not gonna look such as this when you first get it. There's a about a period of a week that goes by where you have to really groom and train the hair follicles to flow in the desired direction of which you like. And that's how it kind of learns how to behave. So it's much easier to just put it on and go. Whereas the first week that you're dealing with this unit, you're probably gonna have to comb it with a paddle brush more often. So back to the shiny factor. Shine is influenced heavily by the products that you use on your natural or real hair and sometimes that seepage can tend to go on to the tracks of the unit which is not uncommon so I always wear a wig cap so I can kind of you know decrease the chances of there being an overwhelming concentration of product on my locks. Also, I only used an avocado concentrate on this particular style every two and a half to three weeks. And I've been wearing this unit for almost five weeks, maybe even a little bit more since September 28th, I believe. So that's probably about a little over five weeks or so. And you do not need to be excessive in the product that you use because you want to preserve the longevity of the hair. Too much product buildup creates shine. It can weigh on the hair and also just destroy or diminish the curl pattern that has been previously established. As with synth as with synthetic oh, tongue twister, as with synthetic units, you will find that they're very well created, you know, to maintain and hold a curl, which I really, really like. So I don't find myself trying to bother this too much because I want to keep it as beautiful as, you know, as always. And this unit just gives complete and utter life to me and those around me. And I just, I live for this unit. Just to get into the technicality of this unit and this particular model, it is a full cap unit it has a 3d stretchable drawstring which is perfect because all my ladies with all different head sizes you can fit into it you can adjust the draw strap so that it fits the circumference of your head perfectly now it comes equipped with four i said four hair combs and the frontal portion the nape of the neck and also on the lateral portions or the sides so that is for added comfort so if it gets a little bit windy and if you're wearing this in the fall or winter Honey, it's not going anywhere. It's not going. I don't want to be walking down the street and my wig is going in the other direction. And that's not cute. I also 
I love the way it frames my face. I have a round face, but I've also lost weight, so I like this mid-length that it gives me because it's very complimentary to the round face. It just, it, it, it works. It works. So any of my ladies with round faces, don't be afraid to pick this up. Now, what I will say is that you must keep this unit in a very, you know, isolated area or location so that it does not have the likelihood to be disturbed, you know, objects rubbing against it that can create matting. With synthetic units, it's very common to encounter matting, tangles, knots, etc. So you want to kind of evade the chances of that even happening. So you got to think smart. Hang it up on a hook or keep it on a wig head. And I brush mine simply with a paddle brush. Honestly, before this video, I seriously just came in, threw this on, adjusted it with my hands, and let it lay how it was supposed to lay. It was a great investment. Because it's, you know, getting towards the end, I do have some matting where the drawstring nearest the nape of my neck is. However, that's not a drawback. You just sit down and you kind of just... Pull apart the pieces that you may be experiencing some tangles with. Be patient with your unit. That's how you get the most of your money. This is not something that's supposed to last you an entire year. So it's, this is great for when you're really just trying to switch up your look. And you, I like versatility. So if you're like me, this is only going to complement you in the best way possible. Get your perfect color. Work it out. All right, and thank you so much for tuning in. Mwah! I loved doing this video, and I hope you guys appreciate it because I got so many questions, and I was like, girl, just give them the answer.